I just reminisce. Hey, please, so, but for the mechanic, yeah, dear. Is it rem reminisce? Mm. Let me let me go down to my level because Charlie, but for them, I said, I'm ready, but I'm in a cemetery, you know. I make a chin to crank a car. So I'll be as yeah. It's a shakila. Stop. Yeah. Oh, 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 How are you all doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey, welcome back. And if this is your first time clicking on my video, my name is Amami Soa, or just call me Nanama. As you can already talk about the title, um, I'm filming a 25 facts about me. So let's just jump right into the video. <laughs> so let's begin. To begin with, one fact. Oh, what I read. <laughs> one fact about me is that a baby girl here doesn't have any edges. Don't be deceived by what you're seeing right now. There's nothing there. My edges are incomplete. I don't care what you have to tell me, but then I know my edges are incomplete. And yeah, there was this one time that I think that was three years ago. I took a picture and my edges were gone like they were gone and everyone thought i had faded my hair there was this hairstyle back then i don't know if people still do it now this fading hairstyle people thought i had faded my hair that was how bad my edges were but then i would say that now it's better and the second fact about me is i know a lot of people but then i barely have friends so let's let me just say this um i got to know a lot of people way back in high school i was an entertainment prefect and you know how that kind of position is you get to meet people anytime i like we come home for vacation i'm always added to like groups by unknown people and all those things entertainment stuff and you know how guys are when girls join those groups and girls are added to groups like that they'll start texting you like, oh hey hi hello oh when i was in high school i really had time for them so i was replying them but now if you text me if it's not business related i'm not going to mind you yeah so i got to like know a lot of people in high school because of my prefectship and i barely have friends to be honest i barely have friends so i'm the second child out of four children i have a skull on my forehead it's around here i don't remember where but it's around here so let me tell you how i got this car when I, I think i was five six years i was home and then i don't know what came over me i decided to go for a walk and i ended up on a certain park when i got to the park there were some guys some small small children boys they were actually throwing stones i don't know if they were fighting or playing i don't know they were throwing stones and then as wise as i was i passed in between i passed in between them as they were throwing stones, i passed in between them and then fortunately for me one stone landed on my forehead <laughs> It landed on my forehead and I just ran home. Like, I ran home crying. And when I got home, my mom was there and then she saw it. And you know, when something hits your head and then there's a small bump, your uh, this Afghan mothers, they just take coin and then they just start to impress it. They were like, oh, we don't want the swell to be permanent. They don't want the swelling to be permanent. And they'll put a coin on it. And they'll, hey, God. And mind you, when my mom was doing that for me, blood was oozing from the swell the swelling like 
blood was coming out of it and I'd cried so yeah I still have a scar from that I'm scared of dogs like I'm really scared of dogs I don't hate them but I'm scared of them when I was um I have a story for everything every fact to be honest I have a story for every fact when I was I think 11 my dad sent me to my grandpa's house to go and take something for him so i went there early in the morning and my granddad is actually late now so my granddad was sitting on his special chair and he loved dogs so he had like about six to eight dogs in his house and all those dogs were under his chair so i got to the house and i was like oh my granddad is here let me just go and get him and then just pick up what i'm going to pick up I didn't even say go. <laughs> I didn't say go. The dog started coming towards me and I was scared. So I was also moving back. And my granddad kept telling me to stay still. Like, I was like, I shouldn't move. And if I should move, the dogs are going to chase me. And just imagine six dogs coming towards you and they are asking me to stand there. Hey! <laughs> me, stand there. And six dogs are coming towards me. Oh. I was more than Usain Bolt. <laughs> I was more than he was. I said, I was running around the whole compound with eight dogs <laughs> chasing me. <laughs> one of my cousins who came to save me. Hey, that day, if I went, I went to pick up a thing I was sent to take, I was holding it and my hands were shaking. Since then, me, if I see dog, I will turn. If the, there's a shortcut and I see a dog at a shortcut, I will go and use the long route. Me, I don't risk my life like that. It's like, I don't hit them, but because of that experience, lie, lie, me, dogs, never. And another one, I have a scar on my. Oh, mm, mm. <laughs> hey, it's not easy. <laughs> I think it's because I'm talking fast. Let me just relax. <sighs> yeah, I have a scar on my eye. I got that also when I was young. I don't know if you guys remember this um, gum back then when you buy it and then you open the wrapper. The I don't know there was this promotion going on. Anytime you open the wrapper, they were like you want something. I don't know if you remember that gum. I, the gum was green. Yeah. Then I bought one then and I actually put the gum in my mouth and I was chewing and I lied to my brother that oh I want something and he was excited. I was like what well, he wants to see. He wants to see. And I was like, ah, I just opened the wrapper close to my eyes. I was like, oh, he should look at it. Like, he should just look at it. He was like, nah, he wants to hold it and look at it. I was like, ah, nah, just look at it. Can't you see? This boy, with long fingernails, then decided to snatch it from my hand. And in the process of snatching it, his finger, with his long fingernail, scratched my eye. My eyeball, oh my eyeball he scratched it and then blood was coming out so i have a scar in my eye from that i'm going to do a lot of storytelling in this video but i'm just going to do it quick quick like i'm summarizing everything quick quick because i don't want the video to be too long you feel me yeah and yeah another fact about me is that i am a successful youtuber they said you have to speak things into existence so i'm speaking it into existence yes in jesus name i have faith i am a successful youtuber and I don't care what you have to say about it, but I know, I know I am a successful YouTuber, period. Period! But I am a Fante. Who doesn't know how to speak Fante? And I'm not the only person on this table, because I know there are a lot of you watching me right now who don't know how to speak their native language. You can speak to but I can't speak your native language, where you are from. You can't speak the language. And I'm not, I'm not the only person on this table. So... And I've never been to my hometown before. I know you. They are watching me, sir. You've not been to your hometown before. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. I love cheese balls and chocolates. I really love cheese balls. If you know, you know. I love cheese balls and chocolates. And I love taking pictures. I really love taking pictures. With that being said, Follow me on Instagram. I'm giving you like, no, I don't want you to leave my video and go and follow me on Instagram. So I'm just going to leave a link in the description below. When you're done watching the video, 
when you are done quarter quarter or when you are done please watch to the end when you are done then go and follow me on instagram i have like less pictures there i know you love it i'm nocturnal i find it very difficult to sleep at night i don't know but then i find it really difficult sleeping at night and all these things that you are seeing on my face right now this makeup yeah i beat my face on my own and i learned all these things on my own i've not been to a makeup school before i just learned um i watch videos on youtube instagram and i just practice i don't even watch them i don't watch and practice i just watch it like continuous i watch different different videos a lot at a go and then during my free time i just sit in and i just reminisce hey please so but for the mechanic yeah is it rem rem reminisce <laughs> mm. let me let me go down to my level because charlie <laughs> but my, i said the married yeah but you mean semi chino i make a chin kakran kakra so that the ass yeah I just start remembering what I have watched and I just try it. Another thing about me is that I'm a perfectionist. <clears throat> I want everything, like anytime I'm going somewhere or I'm doing something, I just want it to be perfect. Like, I don't want to leave any stones unturned. I just want everything to be perfect. So, yeah, I'm a perfectionist. And I'm really tall. Why the fuck you lying? I am very tall. I don't care what you have to say about it. All those who call me short. Hey. I am very tall. I'm tall. I am tall. I love music too very very much. Like I really love music. I'm always humming a tune in my head and I don't even realize it until someone points it out to me. Music. I always have a song stuck in my head. I'm not the only person who like goes through this. Like I always have a song stuck in my head. I'll be walking and I'll randomly start singing some song from nowhere. Like sometimes if there's someone new around me and I'm doing it, they think I'm mad. Like I'm not mad, oh please. I just love music. I love music. I'm a very great listener. Like I listen to people like very well. I love listening to people because of the people like tend to come to me anytime they want to pour their hearts out or they need someone to talk to. I have a lot of friends who come to me for like things like that when they are in that kind of situation and they need someone to talk Question. to. You say you don't have many friends. Now you say you have a lot of friends. At least I have a lot of friends. You don't have a lot of friends. Is there any friend? You see yourself. Not a lot, a lot. But then I have just a handful of friends. You feel me? Yeah. Good. Yeah. They just come to me and then they talk to me when like they need someone to talk to. Like I have like close friends from SHS. Like when I was in high school, the school I went to, I have like I went to a girls' school. So I have friends <coughs> there who like anytime they need someone to talk to, they just come to me to talk to me because they said I'm a great listener and I actually help them out a bit because you know. I'm lost in thoughts and in my head a lot. Like I have a lot of things that I want to achieve in life that I just think about them and how I want to achieve them. And one being I'm going to be a successful in fact I am a successful YouTuber. Period. Period. There's this one thing about me that I actually love about myself. The fact that people don't really know anything about me even though i'm always on social media i don't put my life out there people think they know me but in actual sense they don't and i don't even if there's something wrong in what they think they know i don't bother myself to explain because i ain't got time for that ain't nobody got time for not that not even one of us i just leave it assume i don't care just assume how many things have I said so far? I think I've spoken a lot in such a short time. My favorite color is yellow. 
if you offend me and you want to apologize to me just give me anything yellow i'm going to forgive you okay but then if it's extreme if the offense is extreme i reserve my comments but then if the offense is extreme i don't think anything yellow is going to actually melt my heart to forgive you but then if it's mild just give me anything yellow or cheese balls or chocolates oh my God. <laughs> i love those things so much but if it's extreme House. <laughs> i'm a makeup fanatic like i really love like applying makeup even though i get lazy sometimes but then I love trying new things and I love like applying makeup. I don't like wild makeup because I feel like it doesn't fit my face. But then today I decided to do something different and I I did a colored lip. How do you guys like it? I know it's the first I think it's the first time I guess I see me in a colored lip. It's like my makeup. <laughs> this is the first time you guys have seen me in like a proper colored <laughs> lip. <laughs> and I wanted it to match my hair. And you can see what is going on. You know the vibes. <laughs> After it's much my hair and oh my god, I love it. My nickname while growing up was Rite R I T Z Y. Let me tell you how. Let me tell you guys how this name came about. I was in JHS one then, and we used to live in um, Accra Academy on campus. We used to live in one of the bungalows there. <clears throat> hey, you're ready. And I'm in Konunsi. <laughs> we used to live in one of the bungalows over there, and the boys used to come there. And I think I, I was close to just one person. His name was JT, Jefferson Thompson. Like we was actually close to the family, like was really close to the family because his dad is a friend of like my father. You get it? Like yeah. I was creating a Facebook account then when I was in JHS one. I wanted a name. I didn't want to use my real name because then if you use a real name it was Azunto. So he was outside in a yard, a backyard. He was out he was sitting there with my elderly brother. I just went to them and I was like, oh, I'm getting a Facebook account and I want a name for my account. And all of a sudden, I don't know, Jefferson was like, oh, Ritzy. I was like, Ritzy. Then I was like, oh, I didn't know the me. I didn't even know it was an English word then. I was like, oh, it sounds good. So I'll just take it. So I just took it and my only brother to give his and i also added mine i'm not going to mention those two other names because it's kind of embarrassing <laughs> you didn't just mention those names my little sister is trying to be a devil here hate her it's a shakila <laughs> It's really embarrassing. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Shh. So yeah, and I got to find. I I found out like recently the meaning of the name Ritzy. It's actually an English word and it means um expensively stylish. And guess what? I think it actually matches my personality. It's like the guy actually knew me and he gave me that nickname, like Jefferson. I salute you. Thank you for my nickname, okay? And finally, 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 I am very hairy. I'm very hairy. I'm as hairy as a bear. Like, I don't want to show you guys right now, but then, those who know, know my legs, my hands. Like, I'm really hairy, but then, I like the hair here. The hair is on my body, <laughs> but I like it here. My edges, no hair. And my edges, name. I inherited it from my mother. My mother, oh, my mother. She doesn't have edges. And she gave it to all her children. Oh, God. 
how they be offended so we've come to an end of our video i hope you enjoyed watching today's video if you enjoyed it just give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below and if you've not already subscribed please subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a video and i don't want to end my video without saying this i love you all i love you i love you i love you i love you bye